All right, hey, how's it going? Nick here. Um, I normally make programming videos, but I'm thinking about doing a series of videos on algebra, algebraic manipulation, algebraic variables, things like that. Um, what I realized when I started thinking about how to structure a series of videos on this was that um, there's a good chance if you're trying to learn algebra and you're struggling with it, um, that as soon as you see the variable x, the dreaded x, um, you may find that your brain kind of like shuts down, it rebels, it says, oh no, this is that confusing algebra thing again, and um, everything that, you know, you've tried to learn about equations with x and y in them sort of all comes rushing in at the same time, and it can be very kind of confusing and daunting. So um, I want to make this first video simply um, a, single, a single topic, which I'm going to say, what is x? What do we mean by this, this mysterious thing that appears in our, our math? Because up to algebra, our math is, you know, 2 plus 2 equals 4, 5 times 6 equals 30. And all of a sudden, we're writing things that are kind of like that, but they involve this mysterious symbol, x. And what is a letter doing in the middle of where we should have a bunch of numbers? So um, I want to take a few minutes and dig into what this, this is all about. Um, and I'm going to assume that you already understand basic arithmetic. You know about addition and subtraction. You know about multiplication. But I want to approach multiplication in a different way from how we might normally do this. If we have two numbers and we're asked to multiply them, we can go through a process. You know, if it's something like 5 times 6, maybe we remember what that is. Um, if it's something like, you know, 15 times 62, we have a process we go through where we multiply two numbers together and we add and move things around and all this kind of stuff. But very, very simply, um, if we want to add 5 times 6, what do we do? Well, we can use our fingers. And we can say 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Right? We add 6 to itself 5 times. And so let's explore that for a minute. If I say something like 5 times 6, I really mean this. Right? 6 added to itself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And so multiplication is just a bunch of additions. Right? If I say 2 times 3, I really just mean let's do 3 plus 3 plus Right? A total of two times, 3 plus 3. So we can think of multiplication as just add, 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 add. Right? And one number tells us how many times to add, the other number tells us what we're adding. So we've probably encountered this, right? And we, we actually use this when we count by adding up really quickly in our head or using our fingers or things like that. Um, so I want to look at this property right here. And if, if you're not comfortable with this property, pause the video, take some time, think about it. Um, convince yourself 2 times 3 is just 3 plus 3, right? They're both equal to 6. Okay, so if we understand this line, we could also write something like 2 times 5 equals 5 plus 5. Because 2 times 5 means add 5 to itself how many times? 1, 2 times. And we could also write 2 times 7 equals what? Well, add 7 to itself twice, 7 plus 7. So addition, this is 6, 10, 14. Multiplication, this is 6, 10, 14. Okay, so you probably already know this, right? Um, what does this have to do with algebra? Um, if we look at these three statements... They look very similar to each other, right? Except I've got a scribble on the first one because I messed up, right? 2 times 3 is 3 plus 3. 2 times 5 is 5 plus 5. 2 times 7 is 7 plus 7. Suppose you wanted to remember that fact, right? There's, there's a piece of information here beyond these three statements. There's a more general piece of information. So if you know these three facts and I ask you, what is 2 times 8? What are you going to say? If you know these three facts and you think about it, you're going to say this is 8 plus 8. No surprise there. 
So imagine, you know, you're making a set of notes for yourself, and you're going to put it on a post-it note and stick it on the wall so that if tomorrow you have to figure out what 2 times 4 is, you're going to remember it's just 4 plus 4. What would you put on that post-it note? How do you capture that information that this and this and this and this are all true? And we could just list, you know, these four examples. And then if someone says, okay, so what is 2 times 4? What would you do? You would say, well, let's see, 2 times 3, I did 3 plus 3. 2 times 5, I did 5 plus 5. 2 times 7, I did 7 plus 7. 2 times 4, maybe it's just, you know, 4 plus 4 instead of 3 plus 3. So what you're doing is you're generalizing. Or in mathematics, we say you're abstracting. You're generalizing from some specific situations to a more general situation. And the more general situation, we might write it like this. 2 times anything equals anything plus anything. If I want to find 2 times 4, it's equal to 4 plus 4. If I want to find 2 times 5, it's equal to 5 plus 5. Well, writing the word anything would make our algebra look even more complex. So we use, instead of the word anything, we just use a symbol. And the symbol that we typically use is the symbol X. And X is just a placeholder for anything. So when I write 2 times X, I'm saying 2 times anything. 3, 5, 7, 8, negative 18, 295,386,012. It could be anything. And 2 times anything equals anything plus anything. This is not very precise. Because, you know, 2 times 5 is not equal to 10 plus 1,000. What I really mean is 2 times anything is equal to that same anything plus that same anything. And I can make that clear by instead of using anything, using the symbol x and then saying this is equal to x plus x. And now we have an algebraic equation. And what this equation means is that if I let x be any number, multiplying 2 by that number is the same as adding that number to itself. So this is algebra. This is arithmetic up here. This is arithmetic. This is algebra. And the only difference in appearance is we replace these numbers with this symbol x. But there's a much bigger difference. This one equation captures this and this and this and this and this. If we write 4 plus 4. Right? This equation is a general version of this fact and this fact and this fact. And now if someone says, what is 2 times 4? Well, I just say, okay, I'm going to let x equal 4. This is equal to x plus x, which is just 4 plus 4. So that's all that x is. When you see an algebraic equation, x is just something that holds anything that you want, typically any number with any value you like. But if we have an x over here and we have an x over here, they represent the same number. And one thing this is going to do for us is to let us take specific facts and turn them into more general facts. And this is where algebra starts to be more powerful than simple arithmetic. Because now we know something more than just 2 times 3 equals 3 plus 3 or 2 times 8 equals 8 plus 8. We know that 2 times anything is equal to that anything plus itself. Alright, so that's, that's our introduction to what is X.